Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! We are headed to a few Goodwills and thrift stores, so I thought I'd vlog today. I thought that'd be a good idea. It's not exciting. So exciting. Sticking with my resolution of posting twice a week. I'm kind of missing vlogging every single day, to be honest, and not posting a video very often. But I feel like once the two videos a week start, it'll it'll be good. Yeah, I posted mine today. Yeah, go check out Dalton's video. He posted. It's called. What is it called? I love thrift stores. I love thrift stores. It actually goes along with my vlogmas day 12. So if you saw that, go watch his video because it's like another POV. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Oh, we stopped at Starbucks. I got a chocolate cream cold brew. I got an oat milkshake and espresso. Yeah. In a bad mood. He is in a bad mood. My battery is about to die. BRB. <laughs> all right, we made it. First stop is the Winter Garden Goodwill. You know, taking your camera inside? Nope. I found this Pyrex dish, but it is looks like it went through a dishwasher. Look at all those shoes. They pulled out a cart to restock and I kind of popped out. <laughs> Update. Update. I did not find anything at that Goodwill. I left empty handed, but Dalton found a bunch of shoes. I got a restock. I was, uh, and the best part about it is she had them in a cart and she had the cart covered with like a couple t-shirts and I noticed that she was an employee and she was putting the carts out and the aisles here are super thin. And I was like, are you putting these out? She said, yes. I was like, can I go through them? She's like, I'm not supposed to let you, but if it's gonna help me get them put out, then by all means. And so I started going through them and since the aisles are narrow, like you can see everybody peeping around, they're like, oh, oh, new cart, new cart. But they're so tight that they couldn't get in. So it was just me and one other guy going through it and everybody else was like mad. Wow, I didn't even know that. I looked through like the home decor and the shoes not the shoes. I looked through the home decor, the activewear, the jeans, all the usuals, and found nothing. I filmed like probably one second worth of footage, so you, you saw that. She's probably just being too picky. I'm not being too picky. There really wasn't anything in this one today. I promise. That's right. The next one's gonna be different. He said we haven't been to this one in a while, so I'm excited. Yeah. Also, uh, never mind. My receiver's back there. I think my my. Uh, my purchase was less than ten dollars a pair, which is not, that's crazy. Not normal for that place. That place is usually like thirteen dollars a pair. I feel like that's not normal oh, for here in Florida. I just remembered I got a pair out of the glass case, and I forgot to tell them. Oh, what was it? It was it was a pair of Air Force Ones that were thirty dollars. So oh. they also had a pair of Air Force Ones that were like kind of rare. Like they're listed on Goat at like a thousand dollars. Dang. But on eBay they only sell for like one fifty. And they had them in the glass case for $150, but they were green, so they were half off, but they were still $75. Oof. And they just didn't sell very often, so it was like, oh, yeah. All right, those are all of the updates. I'll see you at the next Goodwill. Peace. All right, stop number two. Dalton's making a reel. Don't talk to me. <laughs> All right, I did not get a chance to film in there because I got nervy and the music was very loud, but I mostly got nervy. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I got really fast. I found this cute little shelf. It was $2.99. Someone DM'd me on Instagram and said that they have these at Five Below. So if you're looking for a shelf like this, apparently they also have them at Five Below. And they're probably $2. They're probably cheaper than, than what Goodwill priced them at. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. It's okay. Uh, and then I got this. I thought this little vase was cute. It was $3.99. This is for myself. This is for home decor. Clown decor. We don't have any like decor at all because like I moved in like right around fall so it was like uh, fall decor and then Christmas rolled around so it was Christmas decor and now there's just like zero home decor so that's that's what I'm working on currently because apparently Dalton didn't have any home decor. Oh boy. <laughs> I also found this anthropology mug. It was half off of $3.99. I tried to stop picking up mugs for a while because I had an overflow, but they're actually like moving along a little bit in my booth unless people keep just like picking them up and setting them in other booths. But when I went to the booth, it was the mug shelf was pretty empty. So grabbed this one. And I also grabbed this anthropology mug. I have sold a few of these ones in my booth. I don't think I've ever found the N initial. Hey, you gave me these shoes because you didn't want to clean them and I just sold them. How much did you sell them for? Uh, $20 plus $10 shipping. That's like a habit for me. I pick up shoes or I order them in bulk from Helpsy and then I don't want to clean them so I just give them to him. Those came from Helpsy. Well, imagine that. All right, next home decor. Next home decor item are these little ceramic mini cactuses. There's this one, cacti. Cacti. Cacti, I'm so sorry. And then there's also this one. They were half off. They were green, green with a half off color. We're going for like a Southwest theme in 
our room and then also like the spare bathroom. I'm thinking that those were our themes. Yeah, what did you think? Why? I don't know, I just thought cacti were It's literally like, the other, now. like a few days ago, he was like, we should get some cacti. Like that would fit in with the vibe. Yeah. I thought we were on the same page that here. The whole thing shut down, so we probably bought it out. It's crazy. That is crazy. Sorry, that's nothing to do with it. Continuing on. Oh, my total today was $64.12. Next up is the, this is probably really bad camera. Thing. Is this pair of cabby pants? They're like a leopard print one. Um, on cabby, first of all, this is like the newer tag to look for, like the square one. I don't, I never buy like the longer rectangle one. That's the older tag. And then cabby always has a style number on the inside tag. And I always look up the style number when I find cabby because some pieces are super oversaturated and some are like more rare and people are looking for them. This looked like a mediocre one but should probably still sell for maybe like 30 to 40 dollars and then dalton actually found this pair of levi's shocker <laughs> levi they're levi's five levi 511s i originally passed them because they were 11.99 uh, but he was like why didn't you grab these they have cool patches on them and so i looked them up on poshmark and there was like a sold comp for like 55 dollars so i ended up grabbing them i'm always right always i don't know what i'd do without you bestie um and then i grabbed this pair of blank nyc shorts because they were half off of 5.99 and i found this free people jumpsuit this is really not great to do this in the car because i can't even really show you oh these bestie things. one of these days when we're over here we need to go to cuban sandwiches on the run because that place slaps that's so that place is so good okay so if you live in orlando dalton says to go to cuban too which is on the run it's a little hole in the wall you're probably going to drive up to it and be a little sketched out but i'm telling you the food those are his favorite kinds of restaurants those restaurants scare me a little bit but like i'm willing to try it uh this is the free people jumpsuit it's just like a it's super lightweight it's 100 percent cotton it is an extra small and then i saw this dress and it felt real well what it felt well made and then i looked at the tag and i was like that tag looks like it's sewn in there pretty well that looks like they have like the different sizes so i looked it up briefly and this dress is an australian brand misha i saw like a misha collection and also a misha i don't know if it's the same brand but this is an australian brand it's called the nessie dress and the retail was like 220 dollars what? which is crazy uh so we'll see how it does on poshmark i think it was ten dollars yes you need to start $10. asking me to guess retail prices on camera because she's like guess how much this costs and i was like 225 dollars he was, was like, like right on the nose spot on yeah um all right that's everything i picked up at this goodwill dalton found a full cart of shoes again i should have shown you he found this really cute pair of old navy sandals they were so tiny and i should have shown them to you and i forgot all right we are headed to another goodwill <laughs> we are headed to another goodwill i will see you when we get there stop number three stop number three i have another thrift haul for you from this goodwill i didn't find a lot but i found a few things i found these mugs i it caught my attention because it, it looks like that someone someone handmade these and it looks like it's dated 83 on it uh they had two of them they didn't have price tags on it but i went up to the register and she said 199 each so that was a good deal i'm excited to add these to my booth and then i grabbed these free people movement leggings they were the half off color today last but not least i got this this sports bra crop top thingy for myself because apparently i'm a gym girly now so that's all. Do you want to go today to add it to the vlog? No, that is okay. Today's actually our rest day. So Screw our rest no, 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 no. Today's our rest day. I'm still sore from like the last two times we went. My arms are sore. My legs are sore. It's nice, right? Uh, my body likes to make me think I'm like sick at all times. So like my body being sore, my brain is like, oh my gosh, you have the flu. So <laughs> I love anxiety. All right. We're headed to go get some food at Chicken Guy and I'm really excited. Chicken guy is the best. The best. Do you think that there's green dye 20 in this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got the Mexican street corn bowl with grilled chicken and it comes with this chipotle ranch, which is a 10 out of 10. The special sauce mm -hmm. is something special. <laughs> We're gonna try the wasabi honey real quick. All right, that's a weird color. Is it good? It's actually really good. Wow. It's not overly spicy. Tastes like wasabi. 
Wow. Seven out of ten. Dalton got some chicken fingers. Some tendies. Some chicken tenders. Okay, I had to update because we also got a holiday cookie milkshake. And it's really good. Thoughts? Um, I need a holiday nap. <laughs> That's the update. I had to show you guys the sky. The sunset's so pretty. Cloud hall. <laughs> Okay, we just got back home. My plan for the rest of the night is to photograph and list. I have, I've been listing 10 items every day, so that is what I'm going to do. I still have to steam all of these. I'm like out of breath from walking the stairs. I'm slowly making my way through all of that helpsy inventory I got, so I have a lot of the jeans hanging up here, and I already listed some of the faithful, the brand and the flax, so I've been slowly making my way through that. Hi, Betty. I do have a new photo setup I wanted to show you. Um, it's like the daily refinement photo setup if any of you follow him on YouTube. So basically I got a big piece of like in insulation board at Home Depot, covered it in gray fabric and then put like a little knob here to hang stuff on. Honestly, I don't love it. Before I moved, I had like a white shiplap backdrop that I loved. It was just like the wall at my dad's house. And so I'm missing that. I don't love the gray. It seems a little dark. It makes the photos look a little dark. So especially when I take pictures of longer items because um, the fabric's like bunched on the sides and it like, I just like don't love it. So I'm using it for close up photos like shorts and bras and sports bras and stuff because they look nice because it's like pretty, pretty close up and like <laughs> the lighting looks okay at that height. So I think I'm just going to put a hook back in the wall for all of the pants and dresses because I still have most of the faithful brand dresses to take pictures of too. So that is the goal. I'm gonna steam this and then I'm gonna photograph and then I'm gonna list my 10 items for the day. We finally have the office pretty set up. I know it was like a mess most of Vlogmas, but this is my kind of corner of the office. I'm planning on hanging up shelves up here so I can put all of those like knickknacks on it. I pick up way too much stuff at the thrift store. Um, and then I added like the Rolo to the desk and I finally have an office chair. Shout out to my dad. I got it for Christmas. And then this is kind of what we have going on over here. We also got this like cart for the heat press and my printer fits on it. And like I put my mailers down there. Then we have the clothing rack over there. <laughs> Archie's just chilling. Photography station in the corner. And then Dalton's desk setup is right here. Finally feeling a lot more organized in here. He's actually been, his photo station was actually moved to the garage. We got a garage at our apartment complex. So now he takes pictures down there, which is what he's doing right now with all of the shoes he bought today. So I'm gonna go put comfier clothes on and then do my listings and everything. And I think that's all I have planned for the rest of the night. I might work on editing some YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you enjoyed the thrift with me today. I found some pretty good stuff today. I'm excited to get listed and excited to add some stuff to the booth. So yeah, that that is that is everything. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. That helps me out a ton. And also I wanted to say thank you for all of the watch hours because I'm slowly creeping up to the 4,000 to get that monetization on the channel. So I really appreciate it. And I think, I think that's everything. Archie. Archie, do you have anything to add? Sometimes he has something to say. All right, I will see you in the next video. Oh, also, if you are not subscribed to Dalton, go subscribe to his channel right now. It is linked in the top of the description.